The foot cast is usually applied for fractures of the toes. In this presentation, the application of the foot cast will be demonstrated. The objective of the exercise is to show the application of the foot cast, a plaster cast that will stabilize the fracture. The foot cast is indicated for fractures of the toes. To apply a foot cast, the following materials are needed. Cotton wool for undercast padding. Scissors. A plaster slab, generally five layers thick and available in differing widths. A crepe bandage to secure the plaster slab. And water or another wetting agent. The water should be tepid or lukewarm with an ideal temperature of between 22 and 25 degrees Celsius. It should be noted that colder water or a bandage that is wetter will allow for an increased working time, while warmer water or a bandage that is drier reduces the working time. The patient should be seated with the lower leg over the edge of the table. Following the oblique line of the toes, the cotton wool is gently wound twice around the foot. Care is taken to ensure that the edge of the cast does not cut into the anterior tibialis tendon. An extra piece of padding is placed over the bunion area. A 100 or 150 millimeter plaster slab is folded double and wettened. The slab is wrapped around the foot beginning at the bottom, taking care that the toes are supported. The cotton wool is folded over the proximal edge. To secure the slab, a crepe bandage is wound on around the foot, then around the ankle several times in a figure of eight, making sure that the edge does not cut into the 90 degree bend of the ankle. and then back around the foot. To mold the plaster, one hand supports the metatarsal heads, with the other hand above the toes, and pressure is applied until the plaster has set, as shown here. The bottom should be flat, allowing the patient to walk. The type of injury determines if the patient may walk on the foot. From above, all five toes should be visible to verify good circulation and that the toes lie in one plane. The application of the foot cast is now complete. The exercises for the patient may now be explained and demonstrated. They include foot pumps, 